Is this her? To a woman so heartless. So what was it like for you to go into this really dark place and be there for so long? Was that kind of exhausting? Yeah, oh. certain days were really exhausting. I mean, I didn't have a huge amount of days on the film. It, it wasn't like what Emily had to deal with. I mean, I, watching the film now, I mean, just exhausting. <laughs> Can you I know. How, how did she do that? She's a, she's a, she's Maybe a she got machine. Help. She's extraordinary. I mean, it really is. It blows my mind. I think what it's an incredible performance. But working against Emily on this film was very special. And you didn't know. I read somewhere that she whispered to you, "I'm pregnant," just yeah, before like a <laughs> big scene that you yeah, were doing. Yeah, she did. Yeah, thanks, Em. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. Um, it was just before we did the big fight sequence thing. Yeah. Well, Threw her around a room, but um, yeah, it's very, very good. She's she's a, she's a professional. She handled it very well. So, so, do you feel that being in this kind of state of mind for so long can be kind of a little therapeutic? Do you think that? Do you feel like acting sometimes is a little therapeutic? I don't see it as a therapy. No, I like I have therapy, and um, it's sometimes good to have therapy just to. Um, create a gateway to allow a character or a situation in your head to, to release, you know, to get rid of it. And I, said, no, I don't find it with acting. Although I love acting, and I sometimes I can go in quite sort of tired or exhausted, and by the time I finish my day of acting, I'm exhilarated. Um, but I wouldn't say the process of acting is therapeutic for me. I think it's just I feel that's when I'm happiest is when I'm doing my thing, you know, acting and telling a story. and. Um, but uh, therapy is a great thing. I love therapy. It's really good. It is. Everyone should do it. Yeah, right? I'm from Norway. People don't you do don't, therapy there. No, I don't, and I don't. I think it's still quite unusual in the UK. Um, I think a lot of people think you have to be broken to have therapy, but actually you don't. Therapy is not about you know sorting out the fact that you're a mess. You don't have to be a mess to have therapy. Sometimes it's just good to talk to somebody and have a, um, a different point of view. Hmm. Yeah, in New York, you know, there's. A Huge. lot of them. Everyone has like two different oh, yeah. ones. One they can lie to and one they can tell the truth. <laughs> really? Oh my God. No, I'm not like that. Not yet. <laughs> so you were used to having like this huge fan base already from when you were in The Hobbit. Um, do you think back at that time? Being it was exciting. In this, like, it was really exciting. I mean, obviously, you have to remember that Hobbit fans are often the Lord of the Rings fans and they are an extraordinary group of fans. They like no other fan base in the world, they are, they live it, they live and breathe it, they dress up as you, you know, and stuff like that, they go to conventions where, you know, there's like female Bard the Bowman's horn beards <laughs> and long hair and bow and arrow, it's an extraordinary thing to actually be part of that realm of uh, fandom, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's fun, I, I like it, I, I think it's a, it's, a nice, it's a nice experience to revisit a character more than once and see how they respond to your next part of your journey. And The Hobbit was wonderful for that. It went for three years and I got to experience the development of their association with me and their fascination with my character and, and me as an actor and all that stuff and how they followed me since and they've supported my work ever since then. So yeah, I've got a lot to thank The Hobbit for in a way. And things like Fast and the Furious and Dracula, you know, yeah. those three movies are the things I get stopped for all the time. On the Do you get nostalgic looking back sometimes? Yeah, 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 it's a nice thing. Sometimes you forget, you know, you, this business moves so fast and you have to like, I'm just about to start a film right now and my brain is, I've had to jump out to do this press junk and it's very difficult because my brain is yeah. almost 100% in this world that I am now going to inhabit for the next seven, eight weeks. Um, so you sometimes forget what you've done and there's only a reminder by maybe a fan on the street who says, oh man, I loved you in this film and I loved that scene and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that, you know, and it's a nice thing, it's a nice, um, or you sometimes turn the TV on and part of your film is on TV and you get to Do you watch, watch them? I watch a little <laughs> bit sometimes, I mean, Fast Six was on the other night and I, it happened to be just as I did this big uh, fight sequence and I was like, I remember the work, the, the like hours and hours of rehearsal to get the fight sequence and we were on a plane and all this stuff and I remember and it was like, it brought back a really nice memory, so. It was great, we were doing this. <laughs> I'm not the girl I used to be.